What's going on guys? Coach Matt and YouGoProBaseball.com and we're talking baseballs today. I've got baseballs from Major League, Minor League, Division I College, Junior College, Summer League College, High School, uh, Travel Baseball, Little League. I think that's it. I don't know. But let's start with Little League and we'll work our way up to the big leagues and we'll talk about what's different and kind of how you have to transition through each ball as you move up from level to level because the balls are very, very different. And it's crazy when you get to the major leagues, you're going to see the ball here that we used and it's a totally different ball than what you're used to using. So first off, I got uh, my a Little League ball here. You can see Little League and I thought I was going to be the man. So I, I threw my autograph on there, but you can see these laces are real high. This ball is definitely not real leather. Um, it feels kind of kind of hard in there but it's also disformed a little bit um, laces are pretty pretty high here um, obviously not the not the best ball in the world you guys know what little league baseballs are um, this is a USSA baseball so if you guys play travel baseball you're probably using a ball similar to this this is definitely uh, better quality this is, says it's cushion cork center wool wound core um, you know, this is a this is a better ball. It feels I don't know if this is real leather or not, but it feels feels pretty good. Looks like it would hold up pretty well. Definitely held up better than that little league uh, ball. Now this is a ball that uh, I used in a high school game. Threw a shutout, 12 Ks. My bad. But uh, this doesn't even have any markings. No markings at all. <laughs> we, I guess we were just using whatever the hell we could find. But you know, the ball held up. Actually, not too bad. It feels smaller for some reason than the other baseballs. It's pretty hard. Laces are pretty tight. But uh, overall, not a horrible ball. Um, now, when we get into college, this is a junior college baseball. Okay? Junior college baseball right here. The laces on this ball is a lot more raised. It's a, They're a lot thicker. I feel like I can get a much better grip. There's, uh, you know, this is definitely leather. You can see there's some scuffs on this one. This one's been used in the game. Obviously, it looks like I gave up a hit. Garbage. It's a Rawlings ball. But now we're starting to get into a little bit better quality. Uh, but the laces, again, the laces are the main difference. The laces are really high on this one. You can really get a good grip. You can feel it off your fingers. Now, as we go forward, this is a Virginia Valley League baseball. So I played in the Virginia Valley League as a summer collegiate baseball league. Kind of like the Cape Cod, just not as high of a level. Uh, pretty good ball here. Again, leather ball. The laces on this one are much flatter. Look at the difference in these two. So if you look here, I don't know if you can tell that. But the laces here are much flatter against the ball than these here. Let's see if I can get a good camera angle. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's a big difference. Okay, There's a big difference right here on these laces. So that's a big difference there. Now, as we get into uh, SEC ball, these laces are kind of back raised up again, okay? So these are a little bit uh, higher laces, much better grip on here. Um, it's a Rawlings baseball. This is what we used when I played at Auburn University, SEC. Uh, actually, I think this was when we went to the regionals, so we didn't use these all year. But the NCAA ball is kind of what we used, I think. Actually, no, this is ACC. So we must have been playing like Georgia Tech or something, or whoever the hell is in the ACC back then. It's a Rawlings ball. Kind of the same deal as the other one. Um, and then you got your minor league ball. Now, here's where another difference is. Laces, again, a lot tighter to the ball. Okay? This is a Northwest League um, baseball. This was when I was in AAA, I believe, with the Padres. Rawlings ball. Great leather. Uh, obviously stitched up really nice. But again, it's, it's a lot smoother. The ball is a lot smoother, which I never I didn't like. I like the collegiate balls a lot better than the pro baseballs. And then you got your major league ball, which is the worst of them all, in my opinion. It's so tight. It's so The laces are so smooth to the ball. There's not much friction that you get. So like if you're gripping your slider here, there's not a lot to, to grip with, you know, and the ball is so smooth. It's a very, very high quality, no doubt. I think like if you're gonna buy these, they're like 20 bucks a pop just for one ball, you know? So they're very high quality, don't get me wrong. Um, it's just 
pitching wise, I would much rather pitch with the ball we used in the SEC versus. Let me show you the difference. Look at look at the difference in the laces here. Now that you can see, right? Like these are so much more uh, the 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 college baseball. The laces stick out so much more. They're thicker. They're higher. This is like smooth. Like there's not. Look at that. Let me see if I can get this ball like that. See the difference there? Such a big difference. So that's the that's the biggest difference between um, Major League Baseball, College Baseball, and then obviously going down the chain. Let's get a thumbnail in real quick. That thumbnail is getting us millions of views. If you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment if you want to see some other videos. Um, I'll make other videos. Whatever you want. I'm at like 115,000 subscribers right now. Appreciate all your love and support. Again, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Check out some of the other videos. Talk to you guys there.